of Lopez Loxin and uh, Ledesma. Ricky and I have with you, like I promised, uh, Edward Lopez. He joins us now. Of Lopez Loxin and uh, Ledesma, and he's going to uh, explain to us about uh, his earlier quote about the, uh, the Mindanao hostage crisis. So feel free to ask any questions, Ricky. Okay, Ed, uh, have you gotten any massages lately? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you raise an interesting point about the about the Mindanao the Mindanao thing. Um, I, I, I'm trying to read between the lines of what you were saying, but it seems that a lot of people were focused on the freeing of the hostages. But uh, there are some lingering concerns that, uh, despite the freedom of the, a number of hostages, number one, there are still some hostages in captivity, and number two, uh, this doesn't seem to be pointing to a sort of longer-term solution to the problems that are going on in Mindanao. Um, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I mean. Uh, two things, for example, like on Sunday's paper, the headlines were the hostages were released. But like on uh, one of the editorials, they talk about the, um, the bag men uh, going around and trying to uh, liquidate their dollars, was one story. And the other story was the uh, very um, gruesome reminder of uh, what happened with the priest back in, uh, was it May? That was um, uh, I, just two things that come to mind off the top of my head. So like fundamentally, not only does it seem like uh, if this was going to make it uh, make the market improve, it would be something that you would see that, um, that would bring this closer to an end. In the meantime, you, it looks like they're just getting stronger. Ed, are you concerned? I, I was talking to some analysts and they expressed some concern. Uh, although the reports are being denied by, by, by some people in government, there are media reports that uh, obviously so, that, that some ransom was paid for the release of some of these Western hostages. Um, and some analysts express this concern to me. I want to know if you share their concern. The idea of, of this sort of exchange of cash in, in, in exchange for the release of hostages could actually encourage further activity like this in the future um, and hence possibly um, not contribute to the, to the long-term peace and order situation in Mindanao. That was a concern raised to me. Do you share those concerns? Well, I, I hate to be using analogies too much, but I mean, the one thing that comes to mind is putting out fire with gasoline. It's like they're just flaunting their money, or and where did that come from? If they didn't, if they didn't pay ransom. Okay, well, uh, another analogy. This time, making a reference to a David Bowie song. Ed, you're getting very creative today. <laughs> Either that or on board. <laughs> Ed, while well, we got... Gonna be, he's going to continue to be giving us all of those uh, quotable quotes. Okay, Ed, before you go, while we've got you here, um, I just want to ask you a little bit about GEI. Um, there's been a lot of activity on GEI, and uh, there is news, of course, that GEI is um, going to put up that uh, e-procurement portal and uh, that uh, SSI and STI are going to be their partners and that, in effect, uh, they're going to be buying into GEI. Uh, do you like the stock? Do you like the developments? And what do you think of, of GEI in general? Uh, the, what concerns me is it's gone up too fast in the last um, uh, two, three trading days. That It's got to stop at some point, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> But on a, on a fundamental basis, I know we don't have a lot of hard numbers yet for, for, uh, for the deal that's being done, but um, just based on the concept of it, the concept that uh, GI is going into IT with partners SSI, STI, and that they're, they're spinning off all the non-IT businesses into a separate unit, um, does it sound like a good thing? Uh, well, uh, Ricky, it could be a good thing, but at the same time you're talking uh, collaboration and you're also talking tech stock. So it's um, handled with care. Okay, so at this point, I suppose it's really just a speculative thing. Um, Ed Lopez recommending some caution on GEI, uh, fearing that the, ru the run-up has been a little too sudden. Anyway, Ed, thanks for that update, and uh, thanks for your opinions and those analogies. We will keep in touch with you, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Ed. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Okay, okay um, Ricky. Yeah, Yvette. Okay, before, uh, before we close, just quickly uh, update you. The market is up uh, almost 9 points at 15.14, and the all shares is up 5 points at 6.79. Uh, basically, there are 36 advancers and only 10 decliners and 361 million pesos 
uh, worth of shares has changed hands already this morning. BW has inched up to the second most actively traded stock. Back to you. And it looks like investors are massaging the market upward a little bit. We're at 15.14 as we go to a break. Yvette, thanks for the update. I'll get back to you after the break. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, it is northern Philippines, right? Yes, you're absolutely right, Yvette. <laughs> uh, but again, um, there's not a lot of tourist flow in that area at the moment. Um, not a lot of tourist flow in the Philippines in general, but uh, even so in Fort Ilkandi in, in the northern part of the Philippines. Well, it's probably better than going to the south nowadays. Yeah, well, you do have a point. <laughs> I would probably rather go there right now than, than, than somewhere far south, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> anyway. That uh, reminds me that uh, Edward has another quote for you today. Okay, where is he? <laughs> okay, I have to, I'm just going to... We're just going to call him now while we're talking, so he'll be in like... I don't know if time to do that. Uh, I, I might have to go to break, but uh, if you can grab him when we get back on the air from the break, maybe we can get his latest quotable quote, or maybe he just wants the latest football scores. Whatever it is, uh, I'll get back to you after the break. Thanks, Yvette. Thanks. And Stock Market Live is going to take a short break. We will be back in a few minutes. Please stay with us.